Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkinverse. It's another Windows 10 versus Windows 11 showdown. This time it's the X1 Nano. So uh, here's my plan. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, Nano. Um, it's a, uh, got the i7 1180G7 processor. It's all uh, fully updated. I ran it through the uh, Lenovo Vantage updates, we updated all the um, drivers and BIOS. I ran it through Windows Update, ran it through every update it could, so it's fully updated, and I have the um, performance slider set to medium. So let's go ahead and start the Nova Bench test. So the X1 Nano uh, has uh, the processor that is a, a little interesting. It's the 1180G7, not found in many of our Lenovo products. It's got 16 gig of memory though, and four cores. It's a little bit smaller screen, a 13 inch screen, compared to some of our other devices, which are 14 inch. Uh, it's, it only has a couple ports on it, so it just has the um, two USB-C ports on this side. That's just the headphone uh, jack there. So no USB-A ports and uh, just a fan over here. So um, it's really more an executive kind of travel device. Uh, works great. This one's a touch screen, uh, 16 gig of memory, like I said. Uh, but let's go ahead and find out what the score is on this one. Then we will upgrade to Windows 11 like it's asking me to and then uh, run all the tests again and see if just upgrading to Windows 11 uh, changes the uh, performance of the machine. Uh, I don't think it will, but I think it'll be curious just to get it documented so we can find out. Okay, so here we go. So the total score of this was a 2159. I'm writing these all down. The CPU score was a 1276. The GPU score was a 30, 387. The RAM score was a 285. And the disk score was a 211. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's uh, start the process, upgrade this thing to Windows 11, and then come back and run the test again. Okay, everybody, there it is. Windows 11 on the ThinkPad X1 Nano. So, <laughs> Of course, everything's a little bit different. Uh, in order to find out if it's in balance mode, I had to go down to the battery here, then to the battery here, and then find the balance. So there's no slider like there used to be, uh, but it's in balanced mode, which is great. And then we have to find the um, apps. So let's find Nova Benches. Not here, not here, not here. Is it here? Nope. Widgets. <laughs> Window, okay, there we go, must be here. No, let's go to all apps. So we're still trying to find a way around the start menu, but just giving you a sense of things that are a little bit new. So there's the new um, Nova Bench. Let's run the test. Overall score, 2076. Interesting, so look at this. We have 2076 versus 2159 previously on the X1 Nano. Let's see what changed. So let's write down the scores here. We got a 1207 for the CPU. The RAM was 277. GPU was 387 and the disk score was 205. So let's look at all the numbers together. It looks like uh, the big decrease was 70 points in the CPU score after we went to Windows 11. Uh, identical on the GPU, just a little bit down on the RAM score and a little bit down on the disk score. But, well, there we go. So now we know Windows 11, at least with the patches <laughs> installed so far, came in a little bit worse. Uh, about 80, 80 less uh, than Windows 10 on the Nova Bench test. So... Thanks everybody for joining. Hopefully that was interesting. Still, I've been enjoying Windows 11 a lot, and I wouldn't uh, wouldn't go back to Windows 10 uh, because of my other laptop. It's been uh, it's been great. But let's see see what everybody else says, and if you have any other thoughts or if you've done the same thing in yours, leave a thought in the comments. Bye.